Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I wanted to give you my thoughts on President Trump's idea and proposal to build a wall along our southern border that we share with Mexico. Uh, normally, I don't get into political things. I'm not really that interested. However, in this case, I feel it's important that I do share my thoughts only because the typical arguing points on either side of the conversation don't include what I feel is the most relevant point to the whole discussion. All right, And the first thing I'd like to say with regard to this is that the wall in itself is not a strong deterrent. The wall in itself will not stop people from crossing the border. So the amount of actual manpower aside from the gigantic cost it would take to actually build and construct this wall, but the manpower that would be needed to actually guard it is astronomical, okay? Because if you have a wall that's not being manned completely, it's nothing. People can go under the wall, people can go through the wall, and people can very easily go over the wall. All you need is rope. People can create makeshift ladders very easily, and they can scale over the wall. It's nothing. The wall in itself is not going to stop anyone from coming over. So it doesn't make sense in that regard. A second point that I have that is also hardly ever mentioned, I personally never heard it even discussed, is that I don't want to be on the inside of this wall. This wall that they, they're proposing to build to keep the you know, undesirables out will one day, if constructed, be used to keep us in. All right? I don't want to be imprisoned. I don't want to be confined the way they're proposing that we should be. I don't want that. Aside from the argument about it's for our safety and general well-being, I don't believe that shit. I'd rather not be behind a fence or a wall myself because as crazy as it sounds, one day that can in fact be the case where we are being held against our will and unable to leave freely because of that big wall that they want to build. All right? And the last point and the one that I think is the most relevant to this entire conversation is that people don't really want to stop illegal immigration. The powers that be, those that are actually in control, that can make these changes happen, they don't want this. They're full of shit. They're lying to you. This is just a political talking point. This is nothing that they really care about or are concerned with. Because if they were, they don't have to build a wall. All they have to do is remove the incentive that exists now for those people to take all the chances and risks involved in illegally migrating here and bringing themselves and their families here. Basically, you look to the employers that are providing work illegally for these people. That's, that's the solution right there to the problem. Remove away any benefits, remove away any opportunity to make money, and guess what? People are going to stop coming. And this is something that's not aggressively uh, approached as far as an angle to solve this problem. That's the real problem. And to take it a step further, those same powers that be know damn well that they rely on these illegal immigrant workers providing cheap labor for them. They don't want to remove that. It's all bullshit. It's all just garbage that they're feeding to you to try to make it seem like they really care and gain support. They don't care. Trust me. President Trump himself, if he really cared, he understands business. He understands finance. He understands motivation and incentive. He could just very easily address that and say, you know what? Any employer that we catch and we're going to aggressively search and seek you guys out, that we catch illegally employing someone, we're going to put you in prison. And we're going to find you so hard and aggressive that you're probably going to lose your business. That right there, if they actually did it, that in a short amount of time 
in addition to removing any financial benefit or aid that illegal people can receive now, will change everything dramatically. People would leave. People would stop coming here. Once there's no reason, once the, the risk involved in migrating here illegally becomes greater than the possible reward, that's the end of the problem. But to build a wall that would cost billions and billions of dollars and then continually cost billions and billions more while still leaving the incentive that these people have to come here in the first place is ridiculous. They'll get over the wall. They'll get under the wall. They'll dig tunnels. They'll go through the wall. It's just, it's nonsense. And to think that so many people are in support of this, you know, kind of leads me to believe that a lot of people are pretty stupid. They really are when it comes down to it for them to think that this could work. You put that 20, 30 foot wall in front of me and give me just a couple hours. And I promise you, I'm getting over that wall. That wall by itself is not going to stop me. So unless you have the actual manpower to have physical armed guards every 50 feet or so, you're not, you're not stopping anything. So let's stop talking nonsense and get to the real point of the debate. If you're real serious about stopping illegal immigration, the way to do it is to remove the incentive and to go after those that are employing these people illegally. And once you start discussing that aspect of it, you'll quickly conclude the same that I have, that no one really wants to stop this. They do not. There's huge financial gain to allowing illegal immigrants to work here. Huge. And that's the reason why it's not being stopped. No one cares about anything else in this country other than money first. Money is what, can, is what moves this country. And in this case, there is so much money involved in keeping and allowing those people to stay here illegally and work off the books and pay them below federally regulated guidelines for pay is a gigantic incentive. They're not going to stop that. All right? They're not going to stop it because they know if they actually did remove all of these illegals, their businesses would collapse because a huge percentage of it is based on that unregulated cheap labor that they're not going to be able to get anywhere else. Even if they were paying these illegals the same legal minimum wage as they were American workers, the truth of the matter is the Americans would not do the jobs that these Mexicans or these Central American people are doing. That's it. We're not built the same. These people come here and they bust their ass and they're willing to work incredibly hard for very small wages. Try to see the average American doing the same. And you'll find out that he'd never do it. Instead, he'd stay home, milk the government for whatever benefit he can have from them, and not do shit. And not feel bad about it at all. It's a different mindset. So please, guys, share your thoughts on this with me. I'm curious about what you guys have to say about this. Um, I know a lot of you are probably not going to agree with me. A lot of you have been convinced that this wall is a good idea. But think about it from the points that I've presented here. And hopefully you'll realize that it's actually ridiculous. It's actually a conversation that is pretty stupid to begin with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.